Hi friends, welcome to Wisdom is Power channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to click the notification bell to receive more wisdom videos like this. Thank you. Now we're going to talk about Coulomb's Law. Coulomb's Law states that the electrical force between two charged objects is directly proportional to the product of the quantity of charge on the objects and inversely proportional to the square of the separation distance between the two objects. To express Coulomb's Law, F is equals to K multiplied by Q sub 1 multiplied by Q sub 2 all over R squared where k is the column constant, which is equal to 9 times 10 to raised to the 9 power, newton meter squared per column squared. And q sub 1 is the amount of charge on object 1 expressed in columns. q sub 2 is the amount of charge on object 2 expressed also in columns. And r is the distance between the two charges expressed in meters. So let's have practice problem number 1. Two particles, each with a charge of three microcoulomb, are placed 160 millimeter apart. Determine the electric force between the two particles. So let's write the given first. The given R, Q sub 1, is, is equals to three microcoulomb. Q sub 2 is also three microcoulomb. And the separation distance between the two charges is 160 millimeter, or that is equivalent to 0 0.16 meters. So we are asked to solve for the electric force between these two charges or two particles. So using our equation for the to determine the electric force between two charges, F is equals to, we're going to substitute all the values in our equation. So that is 9 times 10 raised to 9, Multiply by 3 times 10 raised to negative 6. Multiply by 3 times 10 to the negative 6 also. All over 0 0.16 to be squared. Then the force will be equals to 3.16 Newton. So this will be our answer for problem number 1. Problem number 2. A point charge of Q is equals to 4 microcoulomb is 3 centimeter apart from the charge Q prime is equals to one micro column. Letter A, find the magnitude of the column force which one particle exerts on the other. B, is the force attractive or repulsive? So again, let's write the given first. Q is equals to four micro column. Q prime is equals to one micro column and the separation of distance between the two particles is equal to 3 centimeter, which is equal to 0 0.03 meter. In this problem, we are asked to solve again for the electric force or the column force. So from our equation, we will just substitute all the given values. So simply F is equal to 9 times 10 raised to the 9 power, multiplied by 4 times 10 to the negative 6 times 1, times 10 to the negative 6, all over 0 0.03 to be squared. So we will find the force to be 40 Newton. That is a repulsive force. Practice problem number three. Two balloons with charges of 3.37 microcoulomb and 8.21 microcoulomb attract each other with a force of 0 0.0626 Newton. Determine the separation distance between the two balloons. So let's write the given first. Q sub 1 is equal to 3.37 microcoulomb. Q sub 2 is equal to 8.21 microcoulomb. And the force between these two particles is 0 0.0626 Newton. In this problem, we are asked to determine the separation distance between the two balloons or two charges. So using our equation for the columns or the columns law, 
we can derive the value of r squared that is equals to k q sub 1 multiplied by q sub 2 all over the force. Then since we need only the, the distance that is r, that is equals to square root of k multiplied q sub 1 multiplied by q sub 2 all over f, taking the square root of that equation. So substituting all the values in our given equation, that is 9 times 10 to the raised to 9, 3.37, this should be 37 times 10 to the negative 6, multiplied by 8.21 times 10 to the negative 6, all over 0 0.0626 Newton. So we will get the distance as 2 meters for the, the distance. This is the distance between the two objects or two charges. Practice problem number four. The distance between two identical charges is 200 millimeter and experiencing 10 Newton of force. Find the value of the charges. So we have the following given, the distance, the separation distance is equals to 200 millimeter or simply 0 0.2 meter. The force between these two objects is equals to 10 Newton. So we are asked to find the value of each charges. So again, using Coulomb's law, since Q1 is equals to Q sub 2 because they are identical, the two charges are identical. So we can simply mean that F is equals to KQ sub 1 multiply also by another Q sub 1 because they are equal all over R squared. So the equation will become F R squared is equals to KQ sub 1 squared. So simplifying, Getting the value of Q sub 1, that will be the square root of F R squared all over K. So substitute all the values that will become 10 multiplied by 0 0.2 squared divided by 9 times 10 raised to the 9 and taking the square root of it. Then we will get Q sub 1 is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the negative 6. So si since they are identical, we may also say that Q sub 2 is also 6.67 times 10 to the negative 6 column, or simply Q sub 1 and Q sub 2 is equals to 6.67 micro column. So these are the values of the two identical charges. For practice problem number five, what separation distance is required if the attractive force between an electron and a proton is 50 Newton? So let's write the given. So we the given are the charges of electron and proton. The charge of an electron is equal to negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulomb. The same thing with the charge of a proton, which is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulomb. And the force is equal to 50 Newton. So we are asked again for the value or the distance between these two charges. So again, for our solution using Coulomb's law, so we can write the derive the, the value of R squared, then getting the value of R, that will be the square root of K multiplied by Q sub 1 multiplied by Q sub 2 all over F. So substituting all the values, neglecting the negative sign, getting the absolute value of the, the charge of the electron, that will become 9 times 10 raised to 9, multiplied by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, and multiply again by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, all over 50 Newton. The distance of separation between these two charges is 2.14 times 10 to the negative 15 meter. So that's all my, my friends. Again, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to click the notification bell to receive more wisdom videos like this. See you in my next wisdom video. Thank you.